I see some of your tattoos? I just want to see, oh, for life? Okay. Mm -hmm. He's giving me a lot of prison vibes. Hi, I'm Evie. I am Vega, a DJ. I'm Jared, and I work in tech. What are you doing here today? I am here to guess who has a criminal record. How does that sit with you? Honestly, I hope I don't come off as a dick. What's a criminal look like? They're good looking. <laughs> Criminals are good looking, I'm not even gonna lie. So I might be looking for that, like seeing if they're like buff. I'm going off of mannerisms. Okay, bring them in. How's it going? What's up? I feel like this is gonna be easier than I thought. I think I see some criminals. <laughs> I wanna talk to you. Come on up. How you doing? <laughs> Vega. No, we're nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay. Off of first glance, you don't seem like one. Why that? One, your name. I'm gonna say that off top. No, where are you from? I'm from Inglewood, Maine, but I moved all over the area. So, Compton, South Central. Tell me uh, what you like in high school. Ah, uh, well, my senior year I had 93 absences. Ah. Do you smoke weed? I do, I got back problems though. I know usually like when you go to jail, you get buff. So, can you do three push-ups? Mmm, okay. I could do three push-ups, but if my back give out. Like okay, that, one. One, one push-up. Half, one, okay, there we go, all right. I'm gonna say that you are not a criminal. You can't do push-ups. You have a bad back, so you definitely never ran from nobody. Mm. And you might be too pretty for prison. Okay, okay. I'm going to guess you have a criminal record based on the amount of time that you did not spend at school. Oof, okay. You're next. I'm Felicia. Nice to meet you, hey. Felicia. Do you have sticky fingers? Not currently. I don't know. You kind of <laughs> look like you might be stealing. Big hoops, like the earrings, just off of experience, those type of girls usually seem more inclined to get in trouble. What do you like to do for fun? I like to paddleboard. I love to paint, meditate. It's stealing ever, okay? Okay, so I guess it depends on your circumstance in life. I need you to turn around, look in that camera, and give me your best mugshot. <laughs> I'm still getting criminal vibes. I feel like you're a sweetheart, so. Thank you. Okay. I do not think you have a criminal record. Okay. You do have a criminal record. I think it was domestic violence. I think you beat up a dude. Okay. You might be a smooth one, but you a criminal. I don't know. Okay. She slid. All right. Right here. I think we got the same fit on. Do we? Basically, <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm an artist. Did you start doing art to cope with something? I think so. Yeah? Okay. I would say so. Did you ever see any family members get in trouble when you're growing up? Well, I have family that's been arrested, and I did see like my family interact with police, and police come under our house. See, so you kind of have a, like a little bullet. Is that like you? Shot somebody yeah. with that bullet? Yeah, this is actually, <laughs> so this is a 45 bullet. Like, it's for protection. So you have to like walk around strapped? I mean, you got a bullet, got a lot of metal necklaces, but you seem like a friendly dude. So I'm gonna guess you did not have a criminal record. I don't think you have a criminal record. I like that bullet though. My guy right here. What's up? Can I get a full 360? Like, just, just turn all the way around. His build is like top heavy. He might not punch first, but he will grab somebody and <laughs> shake them up real quick or whatever. Can I see some of your tattoos? I just want to see, oh, for life? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, he's giving me a lot of prison vibes. This one right here, that speaks criminal. That speaks, not criminal, that sounds so messed up. Nice. No, <laughs> so it speaks like danger. Okay, give me your mug shot real quick. So I would just, you know. You gotta look good in the mug shot. I can't. Okay, you got one. Back in the line. It's nice to meet you. Bye, good to meet you. What's up? Hi, I'm Stephanie. I feel like if you were to have done any crime in your past, it would be like tax evasion. I feel like you have to be smart to get away with that, so I'll take that as a compliment. Do you consider yourself smart? Where do you work? I work in nonprofit finance and fundraising. Where'd you go to school at? I went to a state university in Wyoming. What is there to do in Wyoming? Uh, look at antelope. Antelope? There's more antelope than people. 
Oh, damn. Okay. She doesn't really look like she might have a criminal record, but I don't know. Do you own any cats? I have two. I mean, you could be like a crazy cat lady for all I know. Yeah, it's a single vibe, not a criminal vibe, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to say you are not a criminal. She's not a criminal. I don't think you do have a criminal record. Paul. Hello, Hello, Paul. He looks rough. You don't look bad. You just look like you don't really care as much. Paul kind of looks like he cracks beer cans on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Worst case scenario, you could be like an axe murderer. Like you'd be in the wilderness. Okay. So like, get off my land. Yeah, yeah. Someone encroaches on your land, and you're like, mm, and you just got like an axe for some reason. Okay. What is your top three favorite genres of music? Industrial labor songs from the early 1900s. The hell? Synth wave. Okay. And then like heavy psychedelic noise. How do you feel about law enforcement? Fuck them all. They're all crash. Every last one of them, the whole system. I know in like Portland, there were like some pretty crazy protests. I could see like- I used to live in Portland. I could see you going down there I and- I used to go to pretty crazy protests Really in emphasizing your feelings. I'm gonna say based on what we're talking about, you have a criminal record. You have a criminal record. I say, yeah, you are a criminal and I think it's on drug charges. You have probably like an excessive amount of like shrooms or acid or something. <laughs> Traumatized? Yeah, I feel like I would just like talk shit, especially to her, so sorry. If you were guessed right, raise your hand. 50%. <laughs> okay. Woo, I did five? That's just super dope. I, mean, I, I didn't think I was gonna do that good. So we're gonna get to know who did what. I'm not a criminal. You're not a criminal today. Not a car criminal. Today. No ma'am. What do you do in those 90 days you didn't go to school? I was very invested in this woman. Damn, love keeps you busy, I guess. Hey man, I love women. All right, Felicia. Yeah, you got me right. Damn, didn't I call you sweetheart? You did. <laughs> I bet you beat someone up. <laughs> so I just want to say no one was harmed in the making of my alleged crimes. <laughs> I have three DUIs. Yeah. I did do five months in jail, and I did wear a Lindsay Lohan at one point. What was that? The alcohol person? monitoring bracelet. Oh, shit. I actually um, had a substance abuse issue with alcohol. Oh. Well, I'm glad that you're better. I right? am? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Come on up, Miguel. What's up? So I guess you're right, not being a criminal, probably based on you have a very kind of like gentle voice. I'm not saying that criminals can't be shy, but you're like super shy demeanor, and I don't think you would do well like in an interrogation room. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. Y'all are funny. Oh gosh. All right, come on up. You got me right. Did you get those tattoos in jail? Yeah, I got some of them. Kind of the tattoos on the hand for sure, and then the neck tattoo kind of did it for me. And then yes, definitely the teardrops. The teardrops, I was like, ooh, you done killed somebody. You done. <laughs> Have you what? <laughs> killed somebody? It doesn't only mean killing people. It means losing people. It means attempted. It means prison time. It can mean a lot of things. How much do you want to divulge me? Because now I'm just curious. I was a gang member for a long time. Got shot, stabbed, went through a whole bunch of stuff in my youth. It took like me going back to school and getting an education and finding like mentors, somebody that believed in me to change my life, so. Now I go back and I work with at-risk youth in the children's prisons, because that's what they are, children's prison. Mm -hmm. And you know, try to do what I can to change it. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Thank <laughs> you. Hi. Hey. You got me wrong. Yes, I did. My crime is really dumb. I have a misdemeanor in larceny for stealing 143 garden gnomes. Garden gnomes? Wow, what? The garden gnomes? The garden gnomes. The dollar amount was enough that it could have been a felony, but they decided not to charge me with one. Mmm. And I absolutely believe the reason that I have a misdemeanor is because I had small white girl privilege, and the judge even said they didn't want to mess up our future, so. The judge said that to you? Can you imagine the judge saying something similar to me? Honestly, probably not. Yeah, well, thank you for acknowledging your privilege. I spent four days in county jail. We got fined, community service. I spent a year on probation. That's foul, though. Like, that added up to that. First off, why were you still in gnomes? Literally, we were bored. What were you gonna do with them after? Oh, we were gonna put them on someone's lawn, like, facing their door as a prank. We thought we were very funny. So are we uh, sticking with protests that got out of control? <laughs> or axe murder, I don't know, man. You tell me. Uh, no, I was growing a lot of weed. 
Ah, okay. a, lot, a lot of weed, like forests of weed. It was drug related. I was it was drug. I was growing a shitload of weed. Damn, I'm so sorry, dog. Like, it's really, fine. Like, <laughs> that made me uncomfortable because I was really like putting you in a box, but like, that's cool. I was right though. Yeah. Damn. So, sometimes the box so. is the right box. <laughs> Thanks for the story, mm -hmm. Paul. With the show of hands, who thinks that EB here has a criminal record? Are they right or wrong? Y'all are wrong. Line up the game, available now. This is Deadass, one of the most fun games I've played in a while. All you gotta do, check the link down below. You can get your own copy. Go pick it up and have fun. <laughs>